Hi guys, this is Firecats, and today I come to you bringing a music, a music, a movie review for the 31 Days of Horror. Um, I'm on day 10. Um, excuse the white medication on my face. It is Neosporum because my boo-boo got infected. So, yeah. Medicated Stephanie, or Firecats, whatever you want to call me. So today, or this morning, I caught on YouTube movies uh, a certain movie that was free with ads. Um, this movie I watched as a small child and pretty much started my fear of clowns. Um, this movie was uh, released in 1988. That like ages me just a tad, but that's okay. Um, the movie is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I don't know if any of you have seen it. If you haven't, check it out on YouTube. It's a good movie. <laughs> Cheesy jokes. It's like a true 80s horror uh, comedy. Like Killer, uh, the, the, the Tomatoes one. So, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. So, um, let's see. You guys want to know what it is about? I have a feeling. So, when a small town is invaded by aliens from outer space who are capturing and killing townspeople, no one takes them serious. Why? The aliens all look like circus clowns, use weapons that look clown-like, and all have painted smiles. Only a few of the young people in this town realize the danger, and of course no one believes them. Armed with an ice cream truck they try and rescue their friends and let's just say cops are no help they, this cop the the um, main guy he'd be fired on the spot he is good for nothing but let's see my little review cheesy jokes slowly escape run ever worst part of the movie is the dogs and the small children being hurt um well they don't show the small children being hurt but the whole town gets uh attacked pretty much um the weakness of the clown is the nose which is kind of fitting you you shoot them in the nose and they pretty much explode and Nastiest part is Capri Sun Cotton Candy Long Strong Straw Sink. Um, they kind of, uh, the, there's a like this cotton candy thing they weave around people, and I guess the stuff eats, like, leaves the enzymes of the human in it, and then the clown comes by with a straw and pokes it and drinks up the human, which is quite nasty. And I guess that's the horror part of the movie because the rest of it is kind of a joke. But I liked it. Um, as I said, I watched this, this as a kid, like seven, eight years old. And since I watched it, I've had a fear of clowns. But now, I don't know because, well, Pennywise is still a freaky clown. But these ones, mm, whatever. I mean, I'm an adult now, I guess. So. They don't scare me. These clowns. This movie didn't scare me at all. So, things change. Um, though, this is pretty much a cult classic. So, I'm going to have to give it a four. I was quietly entertained by it. So, probably the first four of the reviews. So, let me put my notebook down. Um, so, that is day ten um, of the the movie things. Let's see if I have any medication in my hair. Meh. Um, I'll probably be doing two more movies today. Um, trying to catch up. So that is a thing. Kind of behind, I think. Let's see, what day is it? The 14th. It's day 10's video. I have four more to shoot. Maybe I'll throw in some TV series in there. Or quick movies. I'm not sure. So, 
I will talk to you guys later. This is a quick little five minute ditty, I guess. And so long.